Welcome to the developer basics. We're in hour two right now and in this hour we're going to start working and actually start coding and we're actually going to take this in two phases breaking it down into two different sections of coding basics one coding basics two broken down into two separate hours where in the first hour we're going to focus on a few things and before we talk about what we're going to focus on but at this stage, we're assuming that you have a basic familiarity with working inside of Flash. We're not expecting too much of you, but at this stage, we're expecting that you already know what Flash is, you already know what the environment is, more or less. Alright, so what are we going to learn in the next hour? We're going to be focusing on the output panel. Not out-out, but output panel. In the next 11 hours, we're going to be spending all of our time in the output panel, publishing things and just seeing that they work, testing different things that we're learning, testing them out directly in some sort of a panel so we could see our tests. Deliberately, we're breaking it down into chunks so you make sure that you understand these concepts because a lot of a lot of teachings just skip all these stuff. They run through them, and then you don't really know them that well. And when you reach a phase where you actually need to know them, it's really, really hard to learn it because you didn't have those good foundations. So we're going to look into the output, we're going to look into commenting, and making sure that we know how to do them. We're starting off with the, real, with the basics of just sending things onto the screen, commenting things out as we need to comment things out. After that we're going to start talking about, whoop, we're going to start talking about strings and numbers. Alright, so these are going to be the first types of data things that we're going to have in our applications. We're going to see how to work with strings. Now, basically how to work with strings, how to work with numbers. And we'll move on directly to a topic that's connected to that, and that's math. Or more accurately, basic math. Don't have to worry, there's not, nothing nothing heavy, really, just plus, minus, divide, duplicate. All these stuff you already know about, just we're going to look at it in Flash and see how is it done inside of Flash. The next topic, which is a really, really big one and a very important one, which we're going to be talking about a lot, is variables. Variables are really this... Uh, most important thing, one of the most important things in programming. So we're going to focus a little bit of our time now on variables. We're going to set the motion towards the end of the, this hour where you'll get more familiar with variables, where you'll get more familiar with errors and how they correlate to variables, how specific variables are of specific types. So, so far, we'll at this stage, we'll know about how to create variables that are strings, how to create variables that store strings, and a variable is basically like a bucket. So we'll see how to create buckets of strings and buckets of numbers, and we're going to see how to make sure that we don't have errors. And when we do, make sure to know how to solve those errors. And that really covers all the, all the important things that we're actually going to cover in this section. And as always, exams, community, and support. So please take advantage of all of these three features at everythingfla.com, which you just can't get in any other place. So take advantage of our exams, take advantage of our community in a good way, and take advantage of our support team. So if you have any issue, we, we strongly encourage you to take part in our community, our support. And one thing that to, to note is that we uh, try very hard not to give answers. We try very hard to give instead of that ideas and explanations so you could figure out the answers on your own.